Good morning, good evening, guys and girls. My name is Nathaniel Texas. Before we jump into today's video about May Days, I would like to announce that I am doing a live stream this evening, November 6, 2022, at 8 p.m. Eastern at twitch.tv slash Nathaniel Texas. Come join me and have a good time. My second announcement is that I am doing a $50 Christmas gift card giveaway this year. And here is how you can enter. Number one, subscribe to me on YouTube. Number two, follow me on Twitch. And number three, join my Discord server. Once you do all three, you're automatically entered. The winner will be picked sometime before Christmas on a live stream. Links to all three of these social platforms can be found in the description down below. Thank you guys, and good luck. So let's talk about Maydays. What is a Mayday, you might ask? A Mayday is a term used for someone who is in danger and needs help. So why do firefighters use Maydays? Well, there are countless reasons why a firefighter might throw out a Mayday. Some of the common ones are structural collapse, equipment failure, separation from partner. The reasons of Maydays are endless for firefighters. So how do you declare a Mayday? Well, let's talk about that. Um, some places are very different. Some departments have their SOPs, SOGs set up for Maydays. You need to check with your department, but this is just how my department does our Maydays. So if you declare a Mayday, then either your instant command or your dispatcher is going to be acknowledging you. They will say, your instant command might say, go ahead with your Mayday, or a dispatcher will say, clear the air. They will play a Mayday tone that might sound like this. Or they might set the fire tones off again. They will say, unit calling Mayday, go ahead. So here is what our order is for our Maydays. Number one is name and unit number. Number two is location. Are you on the Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta side? Are you on the first floor, basement? Are you on the second floor? Um, third would be the amount of air left in your cylinder. And number four would be any tools required to get you out. Number five could be any additional information that needs to be relayed. So just as long as you keep these four, it doesn't have to be necessarily in that order, just as long as you can get this, you know, that establish them high important ones first, that is what's crucial. So this is what it would sound like in that order. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Unit calling mayday, go ahead. Unit 923, I'm on the Bravo side. I have 2,600 PSI left in my cylinder. No tools required to get me out, separated from my partner. At that point, instant command would start being able to react. They would know what they need to start doing. If they're, like I said, you know, if they're on the Bravo side, then you know, they need to start reacting to the Bravo side. So giving all that information, knowing how much time you have left in the structure, knowing that you've been separated from your partner. Now the odds are your partner's throwing out a Mayday too. So you, but you guys could be 10 feet from each other and not know. So like I said, the endless options of Maydays are always there. If you're going to ever push interior though, you need to know what a Mayday is how to declare one and making sure that you have the tools necessary to be able to outreach to a dispatcher or to your instant command and declare that said mayday. So this is just a quick little video. Uh, I've, want, I've been wanting to do this for a while. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns about this, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I love your guys' inputs. I love seeing how other departments do stuff compared to ours. It's always fascinating. It's always interesting because no department does the exact same stuff. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.